Okay, let's go ahead and begin the demonstration of section 14.4. Uh, we're going to be looking at, uh, in this section, traversal of trees, and we're going to be looking at prefix or pre-order traversals, as well as postfix or post-order uh, traversals. Now, when dealing with a uh, pre-order or prefix, it is the first time that you cross the node when you use it. You always start with the root node and you traverse counterclockwise until you go through. So you'll notice I'm going to issue kind of my line around here and I'm gonna traverse counterclockwise throughout. Once you've hit the node the first time, you write it down. So if you start at the root node of D, notice you've got D there. So D has been used. I traverse around, now I hit G. G is my next one, traverse around, B, and you've completed all of the nodes inside of that traversal. So you'll notice DGB is the correct traversal on that. Same song, different verse. I'm gonna set up my counterclockwise traversal through this respective tree. And if you notice again, we're going counterclockwise through the traversal of the tree. So you start at the root node. So you're gonna start out at D, you've used the node, G, use the node, then you come up on C, C is the next one. You've already used G, so you don't use, uh, write it down again. Now you, you hit E as the next one, come up, you hit, uh, you've already used G, so you don't use it again. Come up to B, your next one, and you've used all of the nodes at that particular point. Notice D, G, C, E, B is your correct traversal there, completing that uh, participation activity. Next participation activity is a little bit larger graph here, but again, we're gonna set up the pre-order traversal and then plug them in accordingly. So again, I'm gonna set up my traversal around the graph. So we got it set up and again, you travel counterclockwise as you go through the respective graph. Okay, so always start with the root node. Once you use it, you write it down in a pre-order traversal. So you notice A, come down, now I'm on B. So B is the next one, come down. So B has been used, come down. It's E is the next one, so E there, been used. B's already been used, so you don't use it again in a pre-order. F will be your next one, so F, it's been used. B's been used, don't write it down again. A's been used, don't write it down again. C would be the next one. So write down C as in Charlie, come around. And the next one that you would end up hitting in this particular case as you traverse around would be D. And then the last one being G. So A, B, E, F, C, D, G is gonna be the corresponding order. So the first one, if I did this correctly, should be A and then B. And let me get rid of my markings here. There we go. Okay, so A, B, E is the next one, then F then C, then D, and then G. We'll drag G down here to the bottom, completing that participation activity. Okay, post order is the last time you hit the node. So you still are gonna traverse counterclockwise, but it's gonna be the last time versus the first time that you hit the node. So again, I'm gonna set up my traversal around the tree. Again, traveling counterclockwise on it. But you'll notice starting with the root node, I'm eventually gonna hit that and the root node in a post order will always be the last node that you hit. So I can hit it again, come down. This will be the last time I hit G. So G is gonna be the uh, last one that I hit there. I can eventually hit D again once I get back to the root node. So I'm not writing it down. 
I come up on B, B, that's the last time that I will hit B, and then D is the last one. So as post order uh, traversal G, B, D is that one, correct answer. Let's do the next one. Next one again, I'm gonna set up again, the traversal around the tree. There we go. Again, traveling counterclockwise. And again, it's the last time you hit the node, on this. So D can be hit. That will actually be the last note that I write down. G can be hit again. C, that's the last time as I come around here. That's the last time I would hit C. So C there. I can hit G again as I come around over here. So then I come down to E, E there. And then I come up to G. That's the last time I'm going to hit G in the tree. I'm going to hit D again. Now B, as I come around here, that's the last time I hit that, so I write down B. And then the root node is always the last one in a post order. So C, E, G, B, D is what I'm looking for. So C, E, G, B, D is that one selected. And we have the correct answers for that participation activity. Okay, we're gonna use the larger graph on the next participation activity here. We'll traverse, uh, and again, we're gonna do post order on it. So I'll set up again, my markings around the tree. There we go. Again, traveling counterclockwise here. So again, it's the last time you hit the node. So A is gonna be the last one that I write because you're gonna eventually get back to the root node. B I can hit again. E, that's the last time I can hit it, write it down. B I can hit again, eventually over here. Uh, so I'm not writing it down. F, last time I can hit it, write it down. Then I come up on B. This is the last time I'm gonna traverse around B. So write down B. C, that's the only time I'm gonna hit that one. So I'm gonna write down C in that instance. Come around here, I'll hit D again on the other side. G, that's the last time I can hit that one. Come up D, last time I can hit it, and then hit back to your root node of A. So that's the order I'm gonna go ahead and key in in this case. So let me erase this so I can, potentially if I have to scroll down, there we go. Okay, so E is gonna be my first one. Then F is the next one. And then B is in boy. And then uh, C is the next one. And then G and then D, and then last but not least, dragging down A there, completes that participation activity. This also completes the demonstration of section 14.4. Thanks.